This video is on significant figures and trying to understand the meaning of significant figures. Significant figures has to do with measurements and it's a way to let someone know how precise the instrument you used, that how precise the instrument you're using is to uh, record your measurement. So let's um, let's do a real life example with this ruler I have here, and this ruler is measuring in centimeters all the way down to the nearest millimeters because these numbers here represent the centimeters, and in between each centimeter, as you may already know, are 10 millimeters. So it's measuring with an accuracy or a precision to the nearest millimeter. And we're going to be measuring this red rectangle here. And we assume that the red rectangle extends out beyond the page. And we are starting our measurement at zero. And so take, for example, let's suppose that our measurement here, our, or our measurement here, when you're doing significant figures, you write down what you know that you're 100% certain of. And so with significant figures, you have certain numbers that you're you're certain of and then you have uncertain numbers and these are going to be estimated so we know for certain that this rectangle here is eight centimeters and so we'll definitely have an eight in our number it's eight centimeters and it looks like it's for certain two two millimeters and so we could write eight point two centimeters but with significant figures you're actually going to have to include a third digit and that third digit is going to be an uncertain digit and it, it allows someone a, a reader of your work if, if the teacher for example reading your lab report to know how precise your instrument is so we're going to have to guess what digit this red rectangle would be on. And I would guess six. So I would say it's six tenths of the way away from the next tick mark. And so our measurement would read 8.26 centimeters. And so with this example, 8.2, these digits here we are certain about. Okay, we're certain, we know for a fact that our rectangle is at least 8.2 centimeters. The six, that was a guess. Okay, and that's what a significant figure is. It tells you the precision, and by putting this guess on here, we are telling the, the uh, we are telling people that this ruler measures to the nearest millimeter, but we will go out and guess the next digit. Let's do another example to help us understand this concept better. So, okay, for this next example, I have the ruler set right here. And so we can see that it is exactly 7 centimeters and some millimeters. So what would be the most precise way to write our measurements using significant figures? Would we write 7 centimeters? Is that the most precise measurement we know? Or do we know that it's 7.6 meters? Or would the most precise measurement using our idea of significant figures be 7.63 centimeters, 7.64 centimeters? And using the definition of significant figures being that uh, the digits in a number which have been measured with certainty along with a digit that is uncertain but estimated. So we know for certain that this rectangle is 7.123456 and so uh, our answer is definitely going to be one of these three answers which but which is the correct and so with significant, significant figures you have to guess the digits so we now so we know for sure that this is incorrect and this one's incorrect and when you're guessing the digit it is a guess so both of these answers are correct you could guess that the uncertain digit is a three, a four. It doesn't seem to be dead smack in the middle, so I think either one of these would be a good guess.
As a last example, let's assume that our rectangle lands dead smack on the 9, 9 centimeters. So which of these three choices is the correct way to write your measurement using our idea of significant figures? Is it just 9 centimeters, 9.0 centimeters, or 9.00 centimeters? Well, we know for certain that the rectangle is on the 9 centimeters, and we're also certain that it's dead smack on 0 millimeters. So that eliminates this choice. And using the idea of significant figures, we have to have at least one uncertain digit. And our uncertain digit in this case is going to be this third digit here. So the correct answer is 9.00 centimeters is the correct way to represent a measurement using significant figures. Um, to take this a little bit further, you could guess that our measurement is 8.99 centimeters or 9.01 centimeters. So, so significant figures give scientists a way to express some uncertainty in their measurements. And uncertainty in science always arises from the instrument itself. Scientists are always limited by the, the measuring instruments.